while it's here though let's at least uh, get it washed up because it's filthy it did work man the big M 450 I want one of these for my birthday if you guys want to buy me a crone big M 450 for my birthday just let me know I'll send you my address Okay, this should knock out this field pretty quick. Well, that's interesting. Why did they come all the way over here? I don't know, but I mean, let's just let them go to it. And if they, you know, if they, they miss anything, I'll come back and clean it up later. But it seems like they... They're doing okay for now. Okay, let's hop in the New Holland and keep working fertilizer while the AI is doing the other stuff. I love this tractor, man. It is amazing. I'm so glad that we got it. Okay, where is our next FERT contract? Um, I want to go do the next largest one. I kind of like to do the big, well, I start with a big field, but I do all the ones that are near it too. So field nine and looks like nine is probably the next biggest one. So we'll go there. That's going to be way up in the northwest by Johnson's, I think. Uh, yeah, and we also have field one up in the northwest, too, so we'll go get those knocked out first. I have 72% full fertilizer in here, so we should have enough, easily have enough to do those, two, and then probably a few more before I have to buy more fertilizer. All right, guys, well, um, again, I'm going to let you go here, and I'll bring you back with an update in a little while. All right, guys, back for an update here. Uh, I am now windrowing field 71. I have all the mowing done and all of the tedding done. I did uh, set an AI worker on this task, but uh, they only went to the end of the field and then stopped. So apparently they don't know that there's more to do. So it looks like I'm going to have to do this myself. Uh, I have also finished all of the fertilizer contracts, so those are done. And so, yeah, we just have... Uh, we have this field to windrow and then two fields up north, uh, 18 and 16, because those are also the hay fields, the ones that we tetted. Then when that's done, uh, then it's time to bail. I, I realized something, though, and that is that we never, we never got a harrow bed uh, or a bale pickup. So, um, I think what I'm... I, I'm going to do about that. We're, we we should have had one, and I'm thinking maybe there wasn't enough room in my yard for it to spawn in, perhaps, or something. So I think what we're going to have to do about that is we're going to have to lease one, and then I'm just going to pay myself back for the cost of, of leasing it because I'm going to have to use my own money to do that uh, because we have no, no other way to pick these bales up. And, you know, we have that enormous New Holland Square baler, and so I want to use that uh, to get the really big bales and to speed up the process and just to use it because I haven't used it yet. But I don't have a square, you know, bale pickup solution with in my own equipment. I have the round bale pickup, but we're doing square bales. So, so I'm just going to lease the square bale harrow bed, and whatever that cost is, I'm going to pay myself back, um, you know, with the admin tools. And, and go from there because, you know, they should have given us one. I'm sure there was probably one on the list, but what I'm thinking here again is that there just wasn't room for it to spawn in in my yard, so it probably glitched out or something. Uh, so anyway, yep, that's pretty much where we are. I'm just going to finish this windrowing here. <clears throat> Excuse me, here. I'll pop up uh, north and get the two fields up there done, and then we'll be finished windrowing, and then it will be 
bailing, lots of bailing. So I'll bring you guys back again with an update here in a little while. All right, guys, we are back with an update. Uh, we are running the the big ginormous New Holland baler uh, now on the field. And uh, some of these windrows are still so thick that the baler's not picking all of it up, but it did a little bit better on this windrow here than that first one. Uh, but yeah, so just pretty much giving you an update. So what I'm going to do is uh, get all the bales done on uh, on the big field here, and then we have to run up to the northeast part of the map and do 16 and 18, because uh, those are our other two hay fields. And then what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to uh, I'm going to use my own baler for the other fields because the other fields are silage, and I, I never actually borrowed any equipment for silage. Um, either that or I'll use this to bale, and then I'll have to lease the, the square silage implement. But if I do that, I'm, I'm not going to pay myself back for it because that's something that I decided to do and not part of the equipment that I borrowed, if that makes sense. So it might, we might be further ahead just to use our own equipment for all the silage because then we can also use our own trailer and, you know, go that route. So anyway, um, I'll think about it and whatever I decide, of course, I will let you guys know uh, when I bring you back for another update. Okay. So let's keep on bailing here. All right, guys, we are finished with the square bailing. Um, but like I had mentioned, we are going to have to get to uh, the harrow bed to pick that up. I did look back in the recording, and there was indeed supposed to be whoops, a square bale pickup. Uh, but again, I just don't think we had enough room for it in the yard. So what we're going to do is, uh, let's see, go to the store, and we're going to go to bale loaders, and we're going to select this guy. And we're going to um, lease it. What is this? What does that do? That's a stacker. Looks like it, it can only hold up to three bales, though. Huh, interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get this one here. And we're going to lease it. For forty-five ninety, and that lease cost, I'm going to pay myself back because here again we were supposed to already have this thing from the get-go, um, and the delivery cost of one hundred and seventeen dollars too. So forty-five ninety plus one hundred and seventeen is forty-six ninety, forty-seven oh seven. We'll just say forty-seven hundred dollars. Uh, all right, so let's go into here, and we're going to give ourselves forty-seven hundred dollars. And now we're even Steven on that. Very cool. Okay. Let's go ahead and start picking up some bales. Okay, so we got all of the bales on the north uh, west fields here. And uh, that gives us a full load, too. Uh, fortunately, all of the hay is going to Johnson's Farmer's Market, so we don't have to worry about dividing that up. So let's take this first load of Johnson's and then we'll hit the big field and get all that stuff picked up. All right, we are at uh, field 71 and let's start picking up bales. Probably going to take I don't know what, maybe three loads to get everything on this field. Something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was last time, but I'm I'm thinking it'll probably be at about three loads. All right, guys, all of the rest of these bales are ours. Um, if we go into the contracts, we can see that we've completed 
uh, the three hay contracts, and we can turn in 16 and 18, but we don't want to turn in 17 just quite yet uh, because um, that's uh, that would take away the, the cloth tractor. Um, and I want to use it for a little bit longer. So the next thing I want to consider doing, and I haven't done this before, but um, maybe we hang on to this hay and wait, you know, wait until the price is better before we sell it and maybe even keep some of it for, um, you know, for the future in case we, you know, need it for, you know, when we get cows and stuff. The thing is, though, is we seem to get a lot more money for it when we sell it during an active contract than we do, um, you know, otherwise. And so right now we're in April, so it's... It's around the mid-range price, so 49 up to 62. Hmm. Eh, I don't know. Maybe we should just sell it now. I, I think, yeah, I think because of the fact that we, we tend to get a lot better price when we sell it while we're still on, con you know, doing the contract than if we sell it ourselves. At least it seems that way. I guess what we could do is maybe hang on to, like, say, one bale and, you know, finish the contracts and then sell that bale and see if there's a difference. Not really sure. I guess I haven't confirmed for 100% that that's the way it works, but it seems to me like that is the way it works. So maybe we'll do that. The thing is, too, is, I mean, you know, if, if we look at the prices here, we're only talking about a spread from 49 to 62. That's not a huge spread. You know, and then I don't, uh, I don't really have a good place to store hay. If we're only talking a few bales, I could just throw them in the barn, of course. But, like, a whole stack like this... Yeah, I don't have like a tarp or anything for it or a or shed I can put it in at this point. We will in the future. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should just, we should just go ahead and sell it, I think. But I'll tell you what we will do. We'll, we'll keep one bale behind and then we'll, you know, we'll finish the contracts and then we'll go sell that bale independent of the contracts and just see if it actually does in fact make a difference or if I'm just imagining that. So I think that's what we'll probably do here. Okay. Oh, there it goes. What I try and do for these bales that are wrong ways, I kind of bump them a little bit like this. So it lines them up with the, the pickup there. Um, okay, so that still leaves us, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more bales after this load here. And we have 14 on on the harrow bed. Okay, so we made 65.37 divided by 14. So we made about 466 bucks per bale on that deal uh, while we're still doing the contract. Okay, so we'll keep that in mind. 466 dollar make you holla. All right, so this is the last of the bales except for one more that we left out on the field that we'll sell after we turn in the contract. Okay, so that gets us up to $68,000. Make you hollow. Not too bad. All right, so now what we have to do is go uh, do the silage bales uh, on the north fields. Uh, but those are all the smaller fields, so it won't take that long to do. And I'm going to use my own equipment for that, except for we'll keep the Kloss uh, tractor um, as well. 
Okay, we are back at the farm. Let's, uh, I guess we'll just park this bale over here. And incidentally, our silage bales should also be ready to load up. So let's, we'll take care of that too. Let's just drop this off here. It's just going to stay here temporarily. Okay, so we are done with the harrow bed. And that can be returned. We've already paid ourselves back for it, so... We're good to go there. Okay, so let's see. Now, I want to... hook you up to our baler. We have to use our silage baler. Oh. Um, okay, hold on a sec. We might have to, we're probably going to have to move the crone. Yeah, we're going to have to move it. That's okay, we can do that. While it's here, though, let's at least uh, get it washed up. Because it's filthy. It did work, man. The Big M450. I want one of these for my birthday. If you guys want to buy me a Crone Big M450 for my birthday, just let me know. I'll send you my address. Let's park it there for now. Uh, we need to fuel it up too before we return it. That's the deal. Okay, I think we can pull the baler out of there. Should be able to. Okay, let's send a worker up to the field and then we'll follow uh, in our tractor with our. Uh, oh, are we having a hard. Oh, never mind. There we go. Yeah, we want the Axion, create job, go to target position, and just go right here and park that way. And then we'll jump in the New Holland and hook up to our trailer. And let's load our own silage first before we go up there and do the thing. This should be silage by now, I'm thinking, right? Yes, it is. That's silage and that's silage. Perfect. Okay, it's a beautiful thing. All right, guys, we're just about finished with the baling here. Um, I have a worker bringing the windrower back up here because I kind of screwed up and finished the contract on this field, but now I can't get uh, to that hay over there because it's no longer an active contract. So I'm going to try and pull it over onto the fields that are still active uh, with the windrower and see if we can get that because that's a pretty significant amount of hay. There's enough hay there 
if you look you can see I'm 79% full and there's definitely enough hay there for another bale and then some uh, so it's gonna be worth doing so let's pull the baler up here for now and we'll just shut this off and we'll start picking up the other bales while we're waiting for the worker to get up here shouldn't take him too much longer as long as he doesn't get stuck or something yeah there's definitely enough there to make another bale and I'd say another bale and a half so worth doing for sure if it uh, says he's blocked by an object all right well sometimes they can overcome that and sometimes they can't we'll just see what he if he makes it up here and, and in the meantime we'll just pick up the rest of these bales we might mm, I don't think we're gonna get all of them in a single load what in the world why didn't that one pick up that was odd I don't think I've ever seen it do that before. All right, yeah, he didn't make it. All right, well let's um, let's get these other bales over here, and then we'll go get him. Or actually, hold on, no, let's just go. Oh, he's here! <laughs> he just ran into our tractor. What a dummy! Okay. Okay, whatever. Whatevs, man. All right, so let's get in here. And uh, what we're going to do is try and pull this row over onto this field. And then that row over onto the field behind us that we're currently on. I wish the game gave you a little bit more of a margin for error uh, with this sort of thing. Okay. I was watching... Um, someone else play this game on YouTube and they were able to use a front loader bucket to pick up loose hay so I'm wondering if that's something we might be able to do too in these situations I mean the windrower actually works pretty good but there's always those like corners and places like that where even the windrower you know can't get to everything so I don't know something to think about all right so now what we're gonna do is pull this strip over onto this field It isn't going to let us grab it, is it? Oh, man, that sucks. That's a lot of hay we just left behind. Yeah, I really shouldn't turn in the contracts until I get them all done. No, nope, it isn't going to let me grab it. Ah, shoot. That's too bad. Okay, well, this is what it is. Can I grab this one? Yeah, we were able to get that. Let's, um... Flip back around this way and see if we can pull these little clumps over a little bit more. Hopefully, we'll still have enough to make another bale. Okay, let's just leave you there for the moment. 
Well, we need to get back on into the baler. Yeah, this is going to be close. But I guess even if we don't get another full bail, all of this hay is going to sit in our baler because this is our baler and then, you know, we'll just get it next time around. But let's see what happens. We have to get 20% more to make one more full bail here. Yeah, we're going to get it. Nice. Cool. Okay. Then we'll still have a, even a little more left over for next time. Okay, we'll just go grab this little, little bit up here. To this yeah nice okay so let's see can we grab this guy nope can't quite get to it fair enough okay so we don't need you anymore so let's hold this up and we can send the cloths and the McCormick back to the farm and no we want to we want to keep the New Holland with us so you just go here and park there. And the McCormick. Great job. Go to. And you just kind of park in right behind him. Yeah, don't run into the trailer, dummy. Okay, let's get the rest of these bales picked up. Okay, that is it. I don't think anything rolled down below. I tried to uh, make sure all the bales dropped off up above here. Uh, let's see, we need to take these to Johnson. Well, actually, do we need to take these to Johnson's? We should probably look, huh? <laughs> um, you want animal dealer, you want animal dealer, you want animal dealer, you want animal dealer, you want animal dealer. Okay, so all of, all of these guys are going to animal dealer. All right, we are at the animal dealer. Let's get these silage bales dropped off and finish up the contracts. Okay, so that should complete all of our contracts. We can turn in everything except for 71. Um, because I want, we need to wash and refuel that equipment before we turn it in, according to our role playing agreement. But let's go get it done.
Okay, let's go refuel the uh, Kloss and the Crone uh, mower, and then we'll be ready to turn in. We're already at six figures, and we haven't even turned in the most lucrative quest yet. Or, quest. <laughs> I played too many survival games. Uh, contract. I guess the contracts are kind of like the quests of Farming Simulator. Okay, that cost us $373. If some of you are watching me for the first time, I'm, I'm just doing this for role-playing purposes. I don't actually have to refuel and clean this stuff up. But uh, we've role-played in this series that we kind of agreed that if we're going to borrow the other farmer's equipment to do contracts, particularly ones that aren't on their field, that we have to clean their vehicles and refuel them. So that's why we're doing this. Plus it makes me feel like a better person. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I don't think the game should let us do that. Let us borrow. And you know, I know I, I know I don't have to do it that way, but it's a little too tempting not to use this prone mower for all the fields. <laughs> so players do it. So I've semi-justified myself, you know, doing that by washing and uh, refueling the vehicles when we're done. Okay. Now we can turn in our last quest here. Uh, I said quest again, didn't I? For 23,000 bucks. Look at that. We are now up to $124,773. That is a nice little chunk of change. All right, the last thing we're going to do before we wrap things up for this episode is we're going to take that other baler, or baler, bayol, um, back out to Johnson's and sell it individually now that we don't longer have any contracts. And I just want to see if the price is different or if it's still the same. So we saw... We sold those other ones for 433 bucks a pop. So we'll see what we can sell this one for. Okay, let's run this up to Johnson's. It is so, so much quieter in the cabin, this thing. Feels like a race car, though, compared to the speed of everything else we've been driving. It's just scoots. Such a nice pickup truck, man. Okay, so what I suspect is going to happen is we're going to be able to sell this for 433 bucks or thereabouts. Let's see what happens. Oh, are you going to make me take it off the bed? Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. Hey, can somebody here in the store come on out here with a, a few more guys and help me lift this bale off of here? You'll be right here? Okay, great. Four hundred and sixty-seven bucks. Okay, so I was mistaken. Uh, the price must have gone up a little bit, uh, but I was mistaken about that. For some reason, I was thinking that the bale sold more under contract than not, but apparently that's not the case. But that is also good to know because what that means is moving forward when we do these big contracts like this. It would behoove me to 
hang on to you know what's left what you know what I get rather than sell it right then and there and wait until you know January to sell it or in some cases maybe even you know once we get cattle and stuff hang on to it and just actually use it uh, you know the next harvest contract that I do that's either grain sorghum or barley I'm gonna hang on to the little bit of the grain at the end of that you know for the chickens because might as well right so anyway all right you guys that is it for this episode it was a great episode we ended up with hundred and twenty five thousand um, dollars that is more than enough for us to buy the um, let's see the uh, what's call it canola the canola field right behind us we're also gonna buy man this thing is loud <laughs> It's for Pete's sake, it's so loud. Uh, we're also going to buy the um, the large beehive. And we're going to set it out here somewhere near the, the field. And we'll probably have enough bank, if we wanted to, to buy one of these fields too. I don't think we'll have enough to buy both of them. Well, we could it just depends upon you know what other contracts come up between now and then um you know because we're not going to make any money off of our own silage until january because i'm not going to sell it till then so it's possible that we could have enough money to buy all three of these fields and the large beehive but if we don't then the plan will be to buy this field the large beehive and then maybe one of these fields now what could potentially change that is if we you know, if something comes up for sale in the sales that, that we need, you know, or want to have or whatever, too. But that is the tentative plan, at least at this point, uh, for now. And I'm still not planning on buying the um, the canola field until it starts to flower. I, and it, that's it's at that point that I am going to uh, plan on buying it. So we've already looked at the sales, right? Oh, this is new. What is this? Headers are attached to forage harvesters. This is a forage harvester. Okay, so I guess you would use this to chop all these crops up and make them into, into like, chaff? Is that what you would do with this? I'm thinking probably, yeah. Huh, well, definitely not something we need now. This would sure be nice to have. Um, You know, another thing I would like to do at some point, you know, when it makes sense for us to do so, is I'd like to pay off my loan, too, but... Still, I think, um, man, what a nice tractor, huh? It comes with 396 horse. Uh, it can come, come with up to 517 horsepower. How many hours is on it? 15 months. See, it's not even that old either. Oh, my goodness, this would be nice to have. But there's no way we can afford this right now um, without taking even more of a loan out and you know honestly we don't need a third tractor right now we will eventually but we don't know right now but boy that sure is a beauty isn't it love to have that but i don't think that's a good move right now for us so any hoozle all right you guys i'm gonna let you go um the plan for the next episode on april 2nd is if any contracts do happen to come up aside from weeding contracts I'm going to knock those out really quick. Let's uh, clear these. And they're all just those stupid weeding contracts. So the plan is to take the day off, jump in our brand new shiny pickup truck, and just kind of go driving around, uh, maybe get some of the collectibles and, and see the countryside and just kind of enjoy ourselves and, and have a nice leisurely day. Uh, so that is the plan for uh, tomorrow's episode. So I hope you guys uh enjoyed today's episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment to share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode goodbye